The decision to allow Ukraine to use long-range Western missiles against Russia, most likely, has already been made, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov claimed Wednesday. In a conference call with journalists, Peskov said that assumption could be made with a high degree of probability. Peskov's remarks coincided with a joint visit to Kiev by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and British Foreign Secretary David Lammy on Wednesday. For months, Ukraine has been requesting approval to use long-range weapons from the United States and Western allies to strike targets in Russia and is expected to press harder for permission during Blinken and Lamy's visit. On Tuesday, the United States and Britain formally accused Iran of supplying short-range ballistic missiles to Russia to use against Ukraine, announcing new sanctions on both Moscow and Tehran. Blinken accused Iran of providing Russia with FATH, 360 short-range ballistic missiles, calling the move a dramatic escalation. Peskov said the accusations were groundless. We hear a lot of talk about some kind of arms deliveries to the Russian Federation. They all have no basis. We are developing our own relations with a number of countries. We cooperate in a variety of areas, and we will continue this cooperation in the interests of our countries, he said. The UK Foreign Secretary on Tuesday announced that he and his US counterpart plan to make a joint visit to Ukraine later this week to reinforce their country's support for the nation. Welcoming US Secretary of State Antony Blinken to London, David Lammy said the visit came at a critical moment. A critical moment for securing a ceasefire in Gaza, with the shocking deaths in Khan Yunus this morning only reinforcing how desperately needed that ceasefire is and a critical moment for supporting Ukraine, as we enter the third winter of Putin's illegal war," he said. Earlier on Tuesday, an Israeli strike on a crowded tent camp housing Palestinians displaced by the war in Gaza killed at least 19 people and wounded 60, Palestinian officials said. Lamy said the UK and US were completely aligned on the need to secure a ceasefire in the Middle East. And completely aligned too on the need to tackle Iran's malign activity in the region and beyond, he added. The US formally accused Iran on Tuesday of supplying short-range ballistic missiles to Russia for its war in Ukraine. Blinken, speaking alongside Lamy in London, said that sanctions would be announced later Tuesday. Word of the alleged transfers began to emerge over the weekend with reports that intelligence indicated they were underway, according to US officials who spoke on condition of anonymity. Blinken said Tuesday that the transfers appear to have been completed. Iran, as it has with previous U.S. intelligence findings, has denied providing Russia with weapons for its war in Ukraine. It's a pleasure to welcome you here to London, and clearly we're meeting at a critical moment, a critical moment for securing a ceasefire in Gaza, with the shocking deaths in Khan Yunis, this morning only reinforcing how desperately needed that ceasefire is and a critical moment for supporting Ukraine as we enter the third winter of Putin's illegal war. Today I can confirm that Tony and I will be travelling to Kyiv this week, uh, the first joint visit uh, of this kind for well over a decade. We are the closest of allies, so I'm delighted that we will travel together demonstrating our commitment to Ukraine. And on the Middle East, we are completely aligned on the need to secure that ceasefire, completely aligned on the need to get the region onto a path to peace, and reconciliation with a two-state solution at its heart and completely aligned too on the need to tackle Iran's malign activity in the region and beyond. We're seeing a disturbing pattern of greater Iranian support for the Kremlin's illegal war and we discussed today our shared commitment to holding Tehran to account for their undermining 
of global stability.